when the lady came to the door, um, she identified herself, and I started discussing about Proposal 3. She got very angry, and we had an exchange for about maybe three to four minutes. Can't be much longer than that. And then I left, got off the porch, and started walking back to my car. All right. And can you categorize the, the tone of the conversation that you had with this person? Well, she was very upset, very agitated about it. Okay. And so what impression did that leave you with? Well, that she's, she's, that I wasn't going to be able to persuade her one way or the other on this proposal. Okay. And so can you, um, did you make any efforts to talk to her more about the situation? And After I got off the porch and on the sidewalk, no. Okay. Later on, she kept following me. Well, she was behind me, and then all of a sudden I realized she was very close to me in the grass, I was on the sidewalk, and she was like five or six feet from me, and she's on her cell phone, and she's saying she's going to call the police. How did you feel about that? I, I didn't care. I was thinking to myself, call the police. I'm not doing anything wrong. Before I left, she said, you don't have a right to be here and get off my porch. I mean, uh, get off my property. Okay. And did you respond to that? I, I said I was, I was going, and so I got off the porch and Headed for the sidewalk, headed for my car. Did you indicate that you believe you had a right to be there? Yes. Okay, can you tell me about that? Yes, because I, what I said to her in a very calm voice is that, well, yes, I do have a right to come and talk to you. You know, that I could be the mailman. I could be, you know, the FedEx guy coming up to deliver a package. That I wasn't breaking any laws by just coming up to talk to her. How long did you say that you believe you and... Um, Mrs. Harvey were engaged in conversation? Couldn't have been more than three to four minutes. It was a very short interaction. Okay. So now the two of you, you're, you, you testified earlier that you're, you're trying to leave, you're making your way off the porch, you're on the sidewalk, and Mrs. Harvey is in the grass, okay? At some point in time, then, did someone else come into the situation? Well, I... <laughs> I, don't, I turned and looked to see where she was, and then I realized there was a man standing by her. All right. And can you describe what this man looked like? The I had a very difficult time describing him for the police because it just happened so fast. I saw that he had a gun, and it was a long barrel, and about the time that it registered in my brain that there was a guy there, he had a gun, I heard a shot, and I felt the pain. Okay. Um, so, how many shots did you hear? One. One shot. And did that seem to coincide with the pain that you felt? Yes. yes. And do you have any idea as to where he was in relation to you when you heard the shot and felt the pain? I think they were both standing probably like five, six feet, you know, away from me, in the grass. I was on the sidewalk. Okay. okay. Um, now, how long or how much time elapsed between noticing this other person with the gun and then you hearing that shot and feeling the pain? I think it was just seconds. Okay. Did you ever verbally interact with this person with the gun? No, I did not. Okay. So the person then that you saw with the gun, did you ever hear them, that person say anything to you? No. All right. You didn't hear them, him say anything to you before you felt the pain? No. How about afterwards? What happened then after nope. you felt that pain? Nope. You didn't hear him say anything to you? Nothing. No. Okay. Um, did any, what, hap what did you do then after you felt that pain? Well, I thought that I just said to myself, did he shoot me? But someone has said that I said it out loud. There was no response from him. No, I didn't hear any response from him or her. And I'm just in shock. And I just started proceeding to get to my car right after that happened, okay. which was not too far away by this time. All right. And did anybody block you from trying to get to your vehicle? No. Um, do you know what either Mrs. Harvey or the person with the gun, do you know what they did as you're walking towards the vehicle? I must, when I got to my car, I opened up the door. I wasn't sure if I was going to be able to drive or not. But the only symptoms I was having was the pain, an intense pain in my back. And I didn't feel lightheaded. I didn't feel like I was going to faint. So 
I felt, well, I guess I'm going to be able to drive, get in the car and drive. And I was able to, even though it was painful to move my arm. And I, when I looked out the, the window of the car, I saw them standing probably about where I got shot. And this thought went through my mind, and I don't know why, but I thought, this guy is going to shoot me again, right through the window of the car. I sat down, and I get on Bipley Road. I'm getting close to Jordan Lake Road, and I'm thinking, what am I going to do? And I said to myself, I'm going to have to report this to the police. So I drove to the police station. Okay. Did you have a cell phone with you? I had one, but it was in my purse in the car. I didn't have it with me when I was on the residence. All right. Can you point then, um, maybe with your left arm, as to where you, you ended up getting shot? Okay. The bullet went in over the top of my shoulder and exited out back here, the thoracic spine area. I had been my wife a couple of times tell me to leave, and she's something about, oh, I have a right to be here. And she was yelling at her, no, you don't. And I yelled at her, no, you don't. Leave. Well, I'm not going to. And so, don't shit me. I fired around Good. into the tree. Sharon says it was the little tree. I thought it was the pine tree, but whatever. It's yeah. hard to remember which. And that was, I figured, it. And she's still not going to leave. And where, where are you at when you fire? I'm moving up the, I'm on the sidewalk. Okay. More you know how far up the sidewalk you were? <sighs> Five, ten feet. From where it starts? Yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah. Um, so she's still, you know, that she has a right to be there. And she started waving that clipboard around. And it looked like she was going to smack Sharon upside the head with it. So I, this is what I'm going to do stupid kids there. I still have my finger on the trigger. Mm -hmm. Going to knock the clipboard out of her hand. You must be up by the house then? I got a little closer there, yeah. Okay, and where, where approximately did this happen then? <sighs> we must have been closer up the sidewalk, maybe even past the, the fir tree. Okay, so there's the well sticking up. Were you no. past the well? No, no. Okay. Uh, I was just way down. So we could say it's be between the pine tree and, yeah. the, and the well. That's probably as close as I'm going to be. Okay. And go to knock the clipboard out of her hand before she smacks my wife. Where, where's your wife at? She's a little further on the, she I think by then was on the sidewalk. She might have been close to the uh, well head. Okay. I'm not but positive. Is she close to your wife? This oh yeah. Okay. She's quite close. And so basically I go to knock it out of her hand. And I still have my finger on the trigger. Mm -hmm. And it's a semi automatic. The safety does not go back up. It's a semi automatic, is it? Yeah. Okay. It's my wife's, well, it's my wife's ex husband who died. His rifle. Okay. So, how she's got her clipboard up in the air, or how does she have it? She yeah. just <laughs> swinging it around the air. She, you know, all kinds and, of this and then you have the gun in your right hand or your left hand? And then in my right hand. Okay, and then how did you, did you have two hands on it when you saw yeah, it with her? I it was just one hand. Okay. And if I really had two hands, I don't think it would have fired. I just had one hand there, and I swung across, aiming to drop the, knock the clipboard off. Out of her hand? Yeah. Okay. And it fired. And it was basically, you know, when she had it, my left hand up here, so as it, if the rifle came across, I think it would that far, like another inch and a half an inch, there would have missed her. 